So let's have a class. And today's class will do the indoor sports day. But before that, let's talk about the. Yeah, that's also good. So for the gram stand, we want to give you some of the review of the results. So what you find? E. coli. It should be gram negative coxal. Oh, no, sorry, lords. Sorry, not coxal, lords. And we will say single lords arrangement. Okay? And you also have so called lactobacillus fermentation, but I'll, I say it is staphylococcus aureus. We get some cross contamination there. So it is gram positive coxal and the grip shape, the arrangement. If everybody got these three items, which is a perfect recording for a gram stem results, and also put your picture there. Okay, put your picture underneath the microscope, use your cell phone, and there will be a good recording for your gram stem results in the first time you do it. Okay, so that's a gram stem. We are just going to move this off. And today we want to talk about these indoor sports day. So indoor sport staining. And in the lecture we will be continue to talk about that in much more detail. Here we'll be a little bit briefly. First of all, there is a two bacteria Gino has endospore, basically. It's Bacillus and the Clostridia. And the Bacillus could be Bacillus subutilis cereus, Clostridia could be perfringus, tetanin, difficile, and the botulinum. So we'll mention about those later on. Second, bacteria endospore is a protection structure. It usually it used to resist and survive in the stress environment. Let's say UV light, let's say uh, in a very acid environment, in a very uh, hot environment, any of the environment out friendly, we say it's a stress to their survive. Number three, why they can survive in a stress environment? Well, bacteria in those spores, you have a core area, you have so-called uh, inner membrane system, and then you so have so-called uh, cortex, and then you have like a uh, Explorian on and on, multiple layer, but the key thing is right in the middle, in the core area. There is a two major chemical to help them survive in the harsh environments. Number one is calcium dipraconic acids. Calcium dipro. Conic acids. And the second one is small acid soluble DNA. Okay, these are the major two items will let the bacteria in those spores to survive. Number four, I want to mention. Because bacteria in those spore is a protection structure, so it is not genetic dependent. Which means the mother cell has in those spore does not mean it will be naturally transferred to a daughter cell. 
But the daughter cell has also to be in the harsh environment. Okay. Number five, why we have to do the endospore spin? Because we need to see the presence, absence of endospore, and we want to see the location of the endospore. Because the location of the endospore is genetic dependent. And we mentioned several times in the lecture, it could be right on the center. It could be in the subterminal. Some like you go to the airport, it's subterminal. And it could be at the end, which is we call at the terminal. <coughs> okay. Last thing. Because endospore is a rigid system, the basic dye cannot be easy to go inside. So what we need is a very green color dye called malachite green. Now by the way, this dye kind of like antimicrobials can kill lots of the other bacteria. And we also need a very special treatment called heat steaming. Heat steaming five minutes, and followed by counter stain with saffrony. Okay, so that's all the major information regarding for the background of the endospore stain. Now let's talk about the steps. What are we going to do today? Number one is the same as smear preparation. And today we will using the bacteria is Bacillus subtilis. And I said indifferent to the gram stain. Gram stain, we need to use a very young culture because it is based on the cell wall structure. Endospore stain, we want them to have the endospore, therefore, it needs to use the older culture. So, this bacillus subtilis is more than 72 hours. Okay? So what we're going to do, the same thing like you did before. We have a glass slides. Draw a big circle in the center and then mark BS, Bacillus subtilis on the side. Then what we do, same like you did before, add one drop of water and then pick Bacillus subtilis from the plates. This is a plate, so it's really good. I have the quality there. Can you see it? Pick from there and then make a big smear. And don't forget, we need to do air dry three to five minutes, followed by heat fixing. Okay, once you finish the right here, we will have two groups to do the heat steaming. These two groups are going to work with me. We were using a very cool method, which is a Bunsen burner is on the top. To do back and forth fire flaming. Five minutes. Now, obviously, before we do that, we need to put some dye there. We just mentioned the mala chai to green. So we need to put the mala chai to green. And this time, the mala chai to green has to be flooding. Okay, not on the circle, has to be averagely cover the surface. So we call it a flooding. Flooding with mala 
green. And the heat is still for five minutes. And then you rinse and add a counter spin with saffron. So this is one of the methods we're gonna do. Another two groups will be working with TA. What we're going to do is a traditional method. The traditional method is a little bit easy. We have a circle right there. Same thing, a smear is already made. Same thing, smear made. made. We're going to be doing adding malachite green. But for this one, you only need to add malachite green right in the middle. Okay, here is malachite green. Because we are not using the fire flaming, you're going to using is a water bus. And this water bus is supposed to be around at least 80 to 95 degrees Celsius. Then the heat will come in. The heat will come in and to do the steam at the bottom. So the one method is what I use is on the top, the other one is at the bottom. Both used to be worked very well. Now what type of the thing looks like is in those spot? You will see majority of the background, because we can't stand use the saffron, in, it is looks like Green, it, 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 it is, looks like it's a pink color. And uh, you will see like this. Or you see a big bubble. This is endospore. Okay. Let me double check for one thing. I may make a mistake. I think maybe Counter-Stair was, was messing blue. Uh, let me see it. Let me double check it. Uh, it should be contrasting with masculine blue, should be. Uh, I made a mistake right here. Did you guys check that? Saffroni, it says saffroni? So that's correct. My memory is good. <laughs> So that's going to be the endospore. It should be a green or like a bubble. Okay. And uh, this uh, Bacillus subtilis has been there for a long time, and uh, it may not have. It may have a lots of endospore. So you may not see a green color there. You see a lots of bubble. So that could be. So we'll see what happens. Okay. So what I want you guys to do is go there to get plates of bacillus subtilis and prepare the smear preparation until here. Okay, I will be here and the TA will be at the back. Then you guys put all you, these two group, put all your glass lights on the rack and these two group, you go there, find the TA at the back and put on the water bus. And we'll compare the difference uh, to see the results, okay?